how to prepare for a recession. That's the million dollar question, because right now some of the pundits out there believe that the odds of hitting it is a whopping 100 percent. And I am personally on the side that we will see a recession in 2023, no matter how good it seems, everything's going to go and we're going to have a run. We have that bear market rally right now. We have to prepare for the worst. I'm going to go over a lot of details in this video. For those that wanted to know how to prepare for a recession, this is the video you've been waiting for. I'm going to go over some plays out there, some positions that you can take and you can look at, do your due diligence and see if this is what you've been looking for. Now, before we get into it, there's a few things you need to know. I am going to be going over the stock screener at the end. I'm going to go over the institutional tracker at the end that you can get for free from Moomoo. For those who are paying for it, stop paying for it. This is how you're going to be able to get it for free. So stick around at the end because I think you're going to like what I got for you. Now, before we get into it, of course, take advantage of the Moomoo link down below. You're going to need that for the stock screener as well as the institutional tracker. But you also, for $1 deposit, you will get $10 cash, uh, $10 in cash, I should say. And of course, One free stock worth up to two grand. I would put the hundred in because they got for a hundred, you get five free stocks worth up to 10 grand plus the $10 cash. So take advantage of that as well as $1 into Weeble and you will get up to 12 free stocks worth up to 30,600. Take advantage of both of those and come over and join me at the Patreon. That is where you can follow along with my recession proof. We'll call it recession, whatever portfolio. It's what I'm doing. I'm moving most of my money into this portfolio to prepare for the recession I think is going to happen in 2023, and I'm talking about almost all of my equities will be moved in one way or another. That means sold, put into other positions that I think will outperform during a recession. And we are now moving up. I have over 100,000 there. I plan on having over 200,000 next week, and it's going to continue to grow at that rate until it's fully funded. And so if you ever wanted to follow along and see what I'm doing to prepare for that recession, this is your chance. Sign up down below in the link. And now, Uh, One of the big things, let's see, I wanted to start with this. This is Bloomberg. This is what I'm talking about. People are saying, why are you talking about recessions? Well, if you've been following along, you got to, one, know that there's a great opportunity if you can predict what's going to happen. Two, look at what everyone's saying. You can see out of Bloomberg, forecast hit 100% that we're going to see a recession within a year. I don't have it at 100%. But I definitely have it up there more likely than not. And so if you see that coming, you see the signs. The three-month flipped with the 10-year. To me, that was the that's it. When that happened, I was like, well, you know what? I thought it was already very probable. That, to me, says you need to start preparing now for everything that can happen then. And I know what you're saying. Mo, we're in a bear market rally. Yeah, but I called the bear market rally for Q4. I said the S&P would go up 10 to 20% off the lows. It did. Everybody else is saying, oh, it's going to crash. There's no way we're having a bear market rally. But yet we had it. This is our last time, in my opinion, to go ahead and prepare for that that recession. Now, here's something you have to understand. What happens if we somehow miraculously avoid a recession, which I hope we do? I hope we do. Here's what I lose out on. One, I moved my funds into quality, fantastic value plays for the recession. All right. So if we do not have a recession and a rally comes that moves the whole market higher, which could happen, what would happen to my place? Well, they would go up. They just wouldn't go up as much as the the riskier growth stocks, the small caps. And so I would lose out on a little bit of gain. All right. That's the chance I take. What happens if we have that recession, though? Well, the growth stocks, small caps, I expect to get hit hard compared to what I have. And the stocks I'm in, I expect to see outperform the S&P 500 by a good margin. And so I'll take that risk versus reward every time, especially when we expect to see a nasty recession coming. So that's kind of how I'm looking at this. And so I pulled this up. This is some standard ways. You can just freeze the screen. Uh, freeze the screen to give you an idea of some ways to mix up your portfolios out there, moderate, moderately conservative, very conservative. And you can look at the average returns. I'll get my face off there of what happens over the years. And you see from 70 to 2013, these are the returns you can expect. Best year, worst year. Uh, And this one, the worst year you had was minus four and a half or 4.6%. So depending on how you would like to do it, you could break up your funds into these. Now, personally, 
I am going to be moving into some bonds as well. I have not done it yet, but I absolutely do like bonds. For those who don't know a lot about bonds, uh, with bonds, as the Fed raises rates, bond prices move inversely. And so as rates go higher, bond prices drop. So I've been waiting for the Fed to get to that near top. So I'm kind of waiting until after the December rate hike. And you're already seeing some bond prices actually move up because a lot of people believe that the Fed could be near uh, a pause moment, even a pivot moment. I'm not there yet. I, I still think they'll, they'll move up in December. And then possibly, possibly one more rate hike to two rate hikes, but standardized like 25 basis points. I think we're done. I think we're, we're done with the rate hikes and we'll start to either pause and move off of that uh, and with a pivot. And so that's some of the things you have to to realize. So as I noticed there with the double mo, you guys can have a little fun with that. That's all right. Now, I wanted to pull up the bond for everyone here and you can see we'll do uh 5 years here. And this is the B BND is a Vanguard bond fund. I really like this one. And you can see that uh in 2020 uh, things started to look nasty and then all of a sudden the Fed got real aggressive. And as they get aggressive with the rate hikes, you can see what happened to bond prices. They don't usually move this much in such a short period, but they did. 22% down. And now you can see we're moving back up a little bit because they think that the Fed may be on that, that edge of pausing or even pivoting in the near future. I think if they pivoted, you wouldn't see that till late Q1 into Q2. I think more likely it is going to be smaller rate hikes and then eventually a pause for a while to make sure it's working, then a pivot once they see they overdid it. That's how I'm playing this. And so I like this one, but I'm actually, uh, I'll put this in the, the normal portfolio eventually. So if you're wondering, hey, which one's he going to do? This is the one I'm looking at as part of the equities I have in there. I mean, I've been buying a lot of them right now and preparing. And I told you I want to get down to 10 to 20 overall positions for my overall portfolio. I don't want to have a lot of positions. I want it to be well balanced. So I am looking at some ETFs out there. And I've been loading up on them. And this is one that I have not added in, BND. And I am looking to start to add in there. Do I dollar cost average a little bit? Do I just wait until I think the Fed has their thing? So I am going to wait until the December meeting for the Fed. And at that point, after that point, I think, because uh, I, I want to see how the bonds react to the Fed raising again. If they only do 25 basis points to, or 50 basis points, that'll have an effect on them as well. And so we're looking, if you need a standard, and a lot of people say, what else could you do? You can do a standard BAO as well. Uh, I, I like breaking things down. And this is another Vanguard. It only has a 0.03% fee to it, which is dirt cheap. And one of the other things I like, and I'll tell you this, when you're looking at a recession portfolio, here are the five sectors I like. Ready? You got the healthcare. I like that. I want to have a healthcare. I want to have utilities. I want to have energy. I want to have uh, the financials. I want to have consumer staples. There's five good sectors. If you go ahead and break a portfolio down into those five sectors, you can even do equal weight. I think that would be a very decent portfolio to get through a recession. But here's the icing on the cake. Usually, and here's the thing. what People will say, Mo, why don't you have bonds in there? Because bonds should be a big part of a portfolio through a recession. You're absolutely right. Because what does a government usually do during a recession? They cut rates. What happens to bond prices once you cut rates? They go higher. And so you make money off of bonds. So this is a unique situation because we're battling inflation. What's the government have to do? What's the Fed have to do? They got to lower uh, They got to lower that inflation down by raising rates. Even though bonds are getting hammered now, they're going to continue. And if we go into recession, you already heard the Fed say we need to kill the inflation, no matter what the cost. And so if we go into a recession, I think they stay at it and they stay beating it until it's done. Once it's done now, they're going to aggressively cut those rates back down to stimulate the economy. And so it's kind of like, do you want to get into bonds now, knowing that the Fed's going to continue to raise rates? Is it time to sell off? And where are we at here? And I think it's almost over. And usually I would tell you, and you would see in my portfolio, I'd probably have a good 20 to 40% bonds during a time of recession, but I will get that big amount of money in there. But right now I'm still waiting on the Fed to do their thing. And so, yeah, for anybody questions, say, where are the bonds in that fund? I agree 100%. We do need them in there. 
but this is a unique situation. If we didn't have inflation, but a major recession, I would be loading up on bonds already because the Fed wouldn't be raising rates. They'd be cutting rates and cutting rates would help my bonds. But this is, like I said, unique, very, very tough. So if you're watching this thinking, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. If you go into bonds, they're down, they're down for a reason because the Fed's overstimulate and that, uh, not overstimulate, over raising those rates too much. They're already in constrictive territory. To me, they've already overdone it, but they're going to continue to do it because they want to make sure they kill inflation at all costs. So after that, they will be aggressive in pausing slash going into quantitative easing. And that's when bonds are going to run. So I'm prepared for it. I got the cash ready. Uh, it's just something that I wanted to make sure everyone understood. So there's some of the plays I would have. Now, I did want to talk about what? Well, we talked about how and what we need to do for a recession, but where do you find some of the plays out there? And here's one of the things I wanted to bring up. This is the track screener. So I have the Moomoo Moo link up above. This, you click it. Once you have it, you sign up, all that good stuff. Uh, you got to use the link in the description. Put a buck in. You get $10 cash, free stock worth up two grand. Put 100 in. That's what I would do. You get five stocks worth up to 10000 plus the $10 cash. And once you're in there, you click that, open it up, hit markets. If you come over here, and we'll start with the stock screener. You hit stock screener, all right? And they have different high quality, high profit and growth, all these. So you can just go in there and have some already set up. But if you want to kind of look, make your own strategy, you can. And I want to make sure everyone understands this. You have the technical stuff you can do here, but I want to go down to the fundamentals. And we're going to look at valuations. We'll go PE ratio. Some people like to do under 15. I'm okay with that. You can do under 10, under 5. We're going to do it a little different every time. Price to book under two. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to do price to sales, uh, two, zero to two, which is good. Price cash, we'll do the standard greater than 20. And we'll do market cap, uh, 10 to 100 billion. And then if we look down here, 14 solid stocks that you have. And look, most of them green from the last day of trading. Why? Because they're good valued companies. And so this is one way to use that stock screener. And there's a lot of other variables you can use for that. And the other thing I wanted to make sure everyone out there knows is how to find the institutional tracker. Because this, if you don't even want to do that, you're like, I just want to file the big wigs. You just scroll down, click the market, scroll down. You will see them. You want to see what Soros is doing? Here you go. He has his portfolio here. You can see all the stocks that make up their holdings. And this, my friend, is like cheating. You can see how they have it broken down in the sectors. You can also go over and say, what about Warren Buffett? Well, there you go. They have it broken down in the sectors. And you can see how much they have of each one in their portfolio. And this goes for ARC. This goes for a lot of different companies. ARC G, you can do all the different funds they have. Uh, and you can actually search to see other ones as well. It depends on which ones you want to look at. So I did want to bring that up. Make sure everyone had that. Take advantage of this. This is people are paying like I, I hear them out there. We're paying twenty to a hundred dollars a month for this stock screener. You also get the institutional investing follower as well. Do not sit there and pay others out there. I see some some creators out there trying to sell a stock screener where you can get it for free from Moomoo. Uh, so please take advantage of that, and uh, of course get some free stocks while you're doing that. Now after you're done with that, of course the dollar and the Weeble as well. Up to twelve free stocks worth up to thirty k, and come on over to the Patreon. I have my new portfolio. You can join our crew. Take your investing to the next level. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.